Hi, I'm Jesse McCready. I'm with Animodule. Check out my modules at animodule.com. All right, I'm going to make a boring bar. I've got a little piece of 5 16 41 42. It was just hardened 40, 41, 41, 40. Ha! I've got a little piece of high speed steel. You see, I chamfer the end here, here a little bit till. It's nothing uh, precision. Got that. I'll just give her a little bit of an angle. So you gotta grind this in. We'll uh I'll clamp that and I clamp this. Now I think you're not supposed to braise high speed steel because it heats it up too much, it'll ruin the temper. So We're going to stick weld it. Here you go. Let's give you a little... A little shade there so you can see. Got these two pieces. I've got a little piece of 7018 here. Call it stick welding for nothing. Come here. Right, you want to keep it as short as possible. I think I have it set to about a hundred amps. Oh, I should should preheated it, but you'll see. It doesn't make that much difference. We're gonna we're gonna dip the tip real quick. Dip this piece of high speed steel. And hit 4140 with a torch. Roll it, clamp it, and do it again. Oh, almost forgot. Knock off the slag. There you go, knock off the slag. Give it a little brush. And zappity zap. Just as short as you can get away with and get a nice well where's my pliers? You don't want to touch this because it ain't cold. I'm gonna go ahead and dip the high speed steel tip clamper hit it with the torch real quick this is a 4140 monitor Knock off the slag. Come here. There you go. Where well, I got a little hammer around here somewhere. Where's my tiny chipping hammer? There you go. Knock off the slag. Hit it with a little brush. Let's knock off the uh, smoke and the slag. Hit the next side. Now 
100 amps and a little high, but you know, you gotta walk that line between having it too hot and getting good penetration. Let's well, start it. So, last side. We're gonna knock off the slag. Hit it with a brush. Come here. <laughs> Hold it with the pliers while you clamp it. There you go. And give it one more set. Oh, all right. There goes my demonstration. All right. Let's knock off the slag here. We're going to dip the high speed steel. There you go. I've got all of the sides here. Dip the high speed steel. Turn off the welder. Dip the high speed steel. All right, something's smoldering around here. I don't know what though. And hit the 4140 with a torch. You don't want that to cool down too fast. Ideally, you use mild steel. Hey, look at me, I'm popular. Hold on a second. Where was I? Oh yeah, just giving this a little heat. It's been a minute. Had to go bring, uh, had to go do something very important. There you go, and we'll brush this off a little bit. I don't know how well you can see it in the camera. It's not pretty, but uh, is it gonna focus? No, I don't think so. But you can see there's penetration into this high speed steel. It looks good all the way around. Not purdy, but good. You gotta do is grind up this bit. Yep, you got some penetration into the uh, 4140. You grind it down, you'll be able to see what you've what you've got to. Maybe you gotta give her another little kiss or not. But here's a here's a boring bar I made that I used yesterday. It worked great. You know, there's, it's those drills between a half inch. You got every drill up to half inch. There's those drills between a half inch and an inch. Then you got to get your boring bar in there. So you got a three quarter size bore. You got a bore. Here's the boring bar. Here's a threading tool I used yesterday. And they work fantastic. Instead of trying to. trying to deal with these guys they work great for holes over three quarters inch but you gotta you got your margin for the top and the bottom it's got to fit all the way around made this nice and thin but it's got some width so it doesn't flex too much and oh that's not cold <laughs> there you have it we grind it down and make a nice little boring bar out of it. And it's just with a little nub of high speed steel instead of taking a whole bar. Alright, I'm Jesse McCready. I'm with Anna Module. Check out my modules at anamodule.com.